Hello everyone, so welcome to another video and a happy new year to everyone. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. So today I will install macOS High Sierra on a custom PC. As you know, I did an installation video of macOS Mojave on my main PC, but macOS Mojave don't have working NVIDIA drivers. So I have been using Intel UHD graphics for a couple of months. In this PC, I have Core i7-8700 with Gigabyte Z370XP SLI motherboard, 32 gigs of RAM, and a Asus Strix 1080 Ti. I will do a complete installation video, and then I will run some benchmarks on this build, and later I will compare these benchmarks with my main PC. Before we start, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for latest videos. So first of all, we have to create a bootable USB. For this, I am using MacBook Pro. Now plug in your USB drive and format it using GUID partition map and macOS extended journal. Download macOS High Sierra installer from the App Store. After this, open UniBeast. You can download UniBeast from Tony Mac's website. Now click continue, select your USB drive, click on High Sierra, now select UEFI boot mode and inject NVIDIA depending on your GPU, click continue, enter your password and it will take few minutes to create a bootable USB. Now copy Clover and other drivers into your USB drive. Make sure to copy all the kernel extension files into the kext folder of your USB drive. Now eject the USB drive and reboot your system. In BIOS settings, load optimized defaults. Enable XMP profile. Set boot priority to your USB drive. Enable XHCI handoff in USB configuration. Disable VTD tech and internal graphics. Now save the settings and reboot your system. Boot from USB drive. From the Clover screen, go to graphic options. Inject NVIDIA and check all the boxes. From the installer screen, select your language. Now format your SSD using macOS extended journal and GUID partition map. Now close disk utility and click on install macOS. Click continue. Click agree. 
and then select your SSD and click install. When your system reboots, select your SSD instead of your USB drive. Installation will take around 20 minutes and your system will restart several times. And if you face any issue during the installation process, please write down in the comments below. I will try to help in any way possible. When the installation process is finished, it will take you to the welcome screen, enter your basic info and you will boot directly into the Mac OS High Sierra. I am not using multi based in this video. You can see the display memory is only 7 MB, so we have to install NVIDIA web drivers to enable GPU acceleration. Now, download NVIDIA drivers depending on your Mac OS version. I have already downloaded NVIDIA drivers, so I will just install these. Before restarting your system, make sure to install Clover in your SSD. Clover installer will create a EFI partition of your SSD drive. Now mount the EFI partition using Clover configurator and copy EFI files from the link in description below to your SSD drive. Now reboot the system. After the reboot, the macOS About Mac section will show your GPU along with its size. For Wi-Fi connectivity, I am using TP-Link WN725N wireless adapter. You can install the drivers to enable wireless connectivity on your custom Mac.
After installing everything, I ran some benchmark on this build. Core i7-8700 was performing close to 8700K. You can see the benchmark scores on screen. I ran Geekbench, Signbench, Unigen Heaven and Unigen Valley on both PCs. Core i7-8700K performed slightly better in these comparisons. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter. See you in the next one.